Hello, little Commodores. Are you ready to learn your last two snap words for the week? These don't, I don't know, we could use the words we've learned earlier this week with these words if we wanted to. Actually, we kind of talked a little bit about it maybe, but um, we're going to jump right in. The first snap word is cat. Your turn to read it. Cat. We could say the cat is a girl or the cat is a boy. Or if we were talking about our girl cat, we might say she had kittens, right? So we could use some of those words we've learned earlier this week. And I already jumped to the last part of our uh, how to learn a word steps, didn't I? Let's go ahead and study the word and let's count the letters in the word cat. One, two, three. How many words in cat? Or how many letters in cat? Three. Very good. Let's go ahead and spell it. Give me a C. Give me an A. Give me a T. What's that spell? Cat. Very good. Let's skywrite it. C A T. Excellent job. And I've already used it for you. So now this is a new word that you can read and write in a snap. Can you guess what our next snap word is going to be? Dog. All right. Many of us have maybe pets that are cats or dogs. So these are good words to add to our snap word wall. So I'm going to read it. Dog. Your turn. Good. All right. Now let's count the letters. One, two, three. Excellent job. All right, let's spell it. Give me a D, give me an O, and give me a G. And what's that spell? Dog. Very good. Let's skywrite it. D O G. Excellent job. How can I use this one in a sentence? Hmm. Do you remember how many dogs I said I had? I added an S because I have four dogs at home. All right. I have more than one, so I added an S. But do you know which, which dog is the biggest? Do you know which dog is the smallest? All right. Ways to use the word dog. Okay. So I've had some kiddos and some parents say, hey, um, our kids loved finding magic words. So, I'm trying to find some fun ways that you can practice your snap words at home that aren't using your Chromebook. I know it's a virtual day, but sometimes it's fun to use things that maybe we don't get to use all the time in the classroom, and this is the perfect time to do it. Um, if, when it gets warmer, we'll use things outside. Uh, it's kind of cold right now, so I'm going to get out some of my favorites. These are Mr. Sketch scented crayons. So just opening up the lid. Oh, they smell so good. Okay, I'm just gonna pick one today and I'm gonna pick purple because we're gonna do some rainbow writing. Now, there's a couple different ways we can do rainbow writing with our snap words. We can write the word. So I'm gonna start with cat and I could write cat. I could write it in purple. And then I could pick a different color. Oh, I got grabbed green. And I could write cat in green underneath. See how they're different colors? I could then pick, I'm just sticking my hands in. Oh, this is an interesting color. Brown, I guess, maybe. And, yep. Oh, look at that. I was going to write the word brown. What am I thinking? I don't have an eraser. And you know what? That's okay. We can just put an X on it and move on. All right. Let me try it again. Cat. Okay. So that's one way to rainbow write. See? Three words. I wrote it three times. Three different colors. Here's a different way to rainbow write. I'm going to let you choose which kind of rainbow write you want to write today. So I could do it like this. Or I could take a different color and write right over the top of my first one. So then I'm going to have, look at this. I have a word that's purple and blue 
Isn't that so cool? Okay, so I can write the word five times in five different colors. Or I could write the word five times over the top of the first one in different color. Now I'm going to add green. Let's see what it looks like. C A T. See that? Rainbow writing. As long as you're practicing writing your snap words cat and dog five times each, I will let you choose how you would like to rainbow write today. Then you can let us know, did you like magic words better or did you like rainbow words better? And I'm going to come up with a fun way to practice these words on Friday. Okay, now that's one phonics activity for today. Here's your next one. I'm going to move down into the side so that you can see my screen. And I have one Google slide for you. We've been talking about so many things in our phonics before break. And then we really hit digraphs hard this week. So I want you to use all your powers. Your snap word power, your sound power, your word part power, um, your digraphs. I want you to use all of that. And I want you to come up with one good sentence to go with this picture. All right. On it, I see some things I'm, you might find at the fair. Um, you remember what our elephant's name is? Her name is Mabel. She's got a balloon. It looks like there's a slide and a Ferris wheel and a merry-go-round. I want to see if you can come up with a sentence using your snap words, using your word part power, using your sound power. Because next week, we're going to start with something um, that we've touched a little bit on, and we're going to dive deeper into it, and it's pretty exciting. So we're going to wrap this up with writing one really good sentence. All right, now here's a hint. You can click on in the box to add your text. It's okay if it doesn't line up with the, the lines. Just do the best you can. But here's what we really need to remember. Sentences start with a capital letter. Yeah, every one of them. We need to make sure we have spaces between our words. Remember I taught you before break how to push that space bar. But here's an, a, another really important part. Our sentences need to end with an end mark. Hmm. We might have touched a little on that, but not a lot. Remember, an end mark could be a period. Um, could be a question mark. It could be an exclamation mark. It depends on what your sentence is like. But I'm looking, when I'm looking at these this time, snap words, word parts, sounds, capital letters, periods. Whoa, five things. You guys are so smart. I know you can do it. All right. Have a great rest of your day and we'll see you Friday, friends.